Hi and welcome to INS TV. This is Ahana. And we have four very talented comedians with us today. Thank you so much. I'm Kanish Sarkar. I'm Prashasti Singh. I'm Nivedita Prakasam. I'm Supriya Joshi. I personally find it very difficult to laugh at myself, which you guys very easily do. How do you do it? How do you do it? <laughs> How? I've been wow. doing it all my life, so uh, yeah. it comes pretty naturally to me. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's just it's it's so much better. Like when you just take things lightly, it's really like this this less stress in your life. Like yeah. otherwise, you go home worrying about oh, someone said I looked like this, someone said I did I acted like this, or yeah. I behaved like this, and then when you just like it's actually really funny, and you can make a character out of it, or a joke out of it, or something like that. It just makes life life becomes more fun. Yeah, it it does right. Like our lives are fun. And sometimes there's no option also. I remember I used to I, I was going through a phase where I used to whine a lot to my uh, flatmate. Yeah. And she's like, "Yeah, kitna bore karte ho." Yeah. So I'm like, "Oh, I need to make it funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make it funny." <laughs> so I think that is how we all sort of evolved. That we yeah. probably were trying to communicate, and then yeah. we realized that uh, yeah. hey, funny one is a fayda hota hai. <laughs> That's how we learned to laugh at ourselves. Uh, like, uh, what inspired you to take the, this up as a profession? And this is a very, very offbeat, and especially for women, like yeah. stand-up comedian and women, and it's. Women are very new to this profession, I would say. And so, what inspired you to take this up? I feel like the profession chose me. <laughs> That's what I think, uh, because I I was doing it, and then like it worked out for me. It doesn't work out all the time. Like every profession doesn't work out mm -hmm. for you. Somehow, comedy just clicked. Yeah, it just it felt right to stand on stage and tell jokes that make people laugh. So it felt felt like. Uh, your life's journey has found that one big save point yeah. <laughs> that you click, and then you know you can return to it over and over again uh, because it makes you feel good. So uh, yeah, I think that's why that is my my inspiration for comedy was basically ki I want some adrenaline rush in life, yeah. <laughs> and I I'm a scaredy cat and I will never jump off a plane. So this is the best I can do for it. Okay, yeah, yeah. For me also, I think. But she said, like, I tried a lot of things in life. Even, even stage-wise, I, I I would always try to do some dancing, some singing. I, I wanted to be somewhere, doing some extracurricular. And I think comedy was the most right I yeah. felt for doing anything. I think the last time I felt this right was something was maths in class ten. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> wow, you're not. <laughs> but uh, I felt I felt very right about maths in class ten. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then all these years later i felt this right about like, you know there's something like the pyar nahi ho jata you have to go after it it's yeah. that I, I, comedy for me started when i was in in grade 12 in yeah. grade 10 so for, i i knew for me i always want to do something related to comedy um and now we're here yeah <laughs> like, so yeah so uh, one thing i'm very eager to know that have you ever faced this kind of a situation i'm asking all of you the two cracking a joke And the audience is not laughing. Yeah. All the time, yeah. all the time. <laughs> <laughs> It happens. That's our life. It's part yeah. of our job. It's part it's, of it's, our job. It's an occupational hazard. It's, yeah. That's and just have to deal with it. Um, um, any new joke typically doesn't work. Like you have to really work on it multiple times with yeah. the audience to figure out. Oh, ye line bolne se hasa re. Okay. Sometimes you improvise something on stage and the yeah. audience laughs, and then you add that to your joke. So that much of research actually yes, goes into. Yes, that's how much preparation yeah. we go into each joke. Uh, it takes it takes a while for it to evolve into a, a funny yeah. joke. And with Some, practice, you know what to do yeah. at that point also. And right. sometimes you write a joke and you go and, and perform it. It's funny already. It's funny, yeah. But some, but most of the time it, it needs to evolve. Time. Yeah. And uh, uh, have you ever felt that way? Ki, okay, today I'm feeling down. I'm not feeling. We are mm. human beings. We feel yeah. upset. Yeah. So and that day you have to perform. Yeah, so how do you how do you wrong. encourage yourself? How do you back up? I think for me, I just I, I, with with experience I've learned that stage has a very different energy. Yes. 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 Like even, you know earlier I would I, pro, I would probably chicken out of a show mm -hmm. okay of an open mic. Ki, nahi ho raha main se aaj. But over a period of time, I've learned that as soon as you touch the stage, mm. something, something else, else happens. Something else happens. You know, your mood changes. Yeah. Like yeah. if you're feeling sad and you go on stage immediately, so it's actually a cure for feeling sad yes. at that point. So uh, and sometimes also if you if you can't go through, I think you should just acknowledge it on stage only. कि मेरा आज मूड खराब है यार तो मैं हाँ वाव हमारे लिए ऑडियंस विल ओनली टेक द रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी 
I have seen that happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Like, I think the adrenaline. Like I remember, I broke my, I hurt my foot. I, I had a hematoma on my foot. It was an uh, excruciating pain. But I went on stage. I did not feel my pain for the 30 minutes that yeah. I was on stage. And then I came back, and the pain came rushing to my leg. I was like, I forgot I even had. Yeah. yeah. Like something else just takes over. It's, uh, and uh, so that's what happens. Even if mood-wise, it's the same thing. You just forget about what you're feeling. And, yeah, just discussing about moods. Uh, I remember a, uh, an incident, a funny incident. Uh, when I was young, I went to watch a music show. The singer came up on stage. He started singing, and his expression was very sad. <laughs> <laughs> what song was he singing? So he was singing modern, modern yeah. Bengali songs. He used to sing, and the audience, they were like. Dada, first you smile. <laughs> <laughs> it turned out to be a comedy show oh, that day. <laughs> oh, you know what? That's you know what the good thing about comedy is that a lot of the times, like at least for me personally, if I'm having a bad day, I'll probably have the best show on that day. Uh -huh. Yeah. Because yeah. it's a release for me. A uh, comedy is a release. And the angrier, the more upset I am, for some reason I do better as as a performer. <laughs> uh so we often see that the the comedian is performing mm -hmm. but what goes into the the homework that you make and so all the jokes you have to keep it prepared beforehand or sometimes is it spontaneous something that you're saying how much uh, i think it's, it's both mix. i think it's it's a, i think it also differs for all of us how much of improvisation we do but i think uh, for me i can say I keep definitely uh, i go with the script on stage or for a new show you know i would write seven new jokes mm -hmm. and but on sometimes the stage energy is such that you feel like saying something on the spot and that becomes a funnier joke than what you would written and so you go back and you write yeah. it in you're like oh that's yeah. a yeah, yeah you have to write practically every day if you write uh, and uh, for me, I, I leave a lot of scope for uh, improvisation on the stage because I think that's when the best moments come, yeah. like when you're on your toes yeah. and you don't know what to say next, so immediately a thought comes and you just say it and then sometimes it's really funny, sometimes it's not, so yeah. you just have to deal with the consequence, but that's how it usually goes. And uh, how, uh, from your experiences, please share with me that... Uh, how do audience react when when a female comedian is performing? Do they do they differentiate? Have you ever faced discrimination that okay because I am a woman they are treating me this way? So I know five years ago, like when I used to do that, like I did a couple of jokes like five like five years ago, there would be a lot of I could feel them, like I I, I like I'd say they you know I do a lot of my like my relationship jokes or my sex jokes and they'd be like. Like I'd get that reaction, which has changed for me now. Uh, like now, I know like five years later, that's not the case for me. Like um, I think audiences have evolved. Yeah. And also I've become a lot more confident and a lot more, I have a lot more conviction in what I'm saying now. So I don't, I don't allow the audience almost to like uh, really have an opinion. They're just like, okay, it's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I believe in what I'm saying. So I think that's the, my confidence and the audience's uh, tastes have changed. So that's a good thing. Uh, that's why well, I used to face it back in the day, but yeah, and, and maybe if it still exists, I, I'm confident now that I know what comedy is. Yeah. Same thing. I mean, <laughs> you know, the thing about being, I think for us now at this point, uh, if somebody is not laughing at our joke, we just go back and work on it. We yeah. don't blame it on anything anymore. Uh, just because if, if you have a crowd that's uh, hard on you, you become a better comedian. Mm. Because you just work harder. Yeah. So you take that criticism very positively and you work on yourself. You have to. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have an option. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise you won't get anywhere. Yeah. Then you just sit and whine and whine and you don't really move forward. Um, so. I find this profession very interesting Thank because you. as I just told you that I'm a person, I cannot laugh at myself, but you guys do that so easily <laughs> and I salute you for that. <laughs> Thank Man. you. That is so sweet. Thank you so much. Um, so one thing I would like to know that this is a time when we, we who work in offices and other workplaces, stress is a word which dominates our lives above everything. So how important is it to laugh uh, today, like, mm. like laugh at least for some time in a day? Yeah. I mean, it is. <laughs> you, you should. I mean, uh, if you are, uh, it's one of the b best stress uh, re Busters, relief yeah. and uh, our special is coming uh, <laughs> yeah. on March 27th on Netflix. You can watch <laughs> that and laugh. And the thing is, all our specials are 15 minutes each. So you can so take a 15 minute break from yes. your day, just watch, yeah. laugh, 
you'll feel better for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a, life's become very serious with everything that's happening. And I think comedy is one place you can go to get some relief. So yeah. uh, you please use us. Yeah. <laughs> use me. <laughs> But one thing I would like to share with you that uh, it happens sometimes with me that when I see things going wrong from all possible angles, I start laughing. Huh? Yeah, exactly. You're That's just like, so you know, I think, what are you going to do? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I did our lives. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Itna, itna niche ja chuka yeah. 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 Nothing else you can do. At some point Nothing where you, is left. Yeah. Yeah. I can't go any you further down. Yeah. 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 You're hoping the country will develop a sense of humor after. That actually makes me feel better, I, yeah. I think. that, it, Like, I feel the load is off a little bit. Yeah. yeah. So, it was a lovely session talking to all Thank of you. you. Thank you so much. I really enjoyed it. Thank uh, you. You've been much. lovely. Bye. Thank yeah. you. Take it care. Have a nice day. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Bye.